morning glampers last day it's 20 past 5 I thought we'll get up early we'll get away before 6 just around 6 o'clock because I don't know what's to come might have to do a lot of hiking today and my feet are shot but I hope socks also it's last day I'm going to wear me fresh camp socks as a little treat and then probably just put my wet trainers on over top of them hey right let's crack on let's get to this lighthouse man let's go let's put it away for the final time the lanshan well done kid you've done well really well proud of you Let's go. Let's make it. final push, like kid. Final push. Let's go. Goodbye, Sandwood Bay. Look <sighs> how steep that is. And I guess this is a lot of the reason why you lose your path as well. All these stones, it's just you can't make a path in stone, can you? So people just disperse. Look at the mist coming through, man. Just turned six o'clock. There's a few people still in the tents down there. Wild campers. I'm up, man. It's still, it's calm. Despite my ankles hurting, I feel strong, mate. Mentally, I feel strong. <laughs> Physically, from the knee down, knees down, I don't feel too clever, but all it nogging, I feel good, man. Look at it, peaceful. Right, let's get stuck into it. Let's make me not feel so good in nogging anymore. <laughs> right, we've got a river crossing here. Uh, oof. How deep is it? That's the main thing. Look, <laughs> well, that is deep. That's deep. Okay. Man, what do you do when this bad boy's in, in spate? We're through. I'm entering the military training area now and as soon as you get in there it's a brutal a brutal climb so these if there are red flags on these things here don't go in unless you want to get carpet bombed <laughs> no one wants to get carpet bombed mate come on what's this ah hopefully i'll be able to get across here because some Someone's tied barbed wire down with some uh, some other wire, and I'm grateful for whoever did it. Right, let's go and get scudded. Okay, this for a river crossing. <laughs> We've got a mountain goat down these side bits, and then get across there and up that bit. Woo! Made it. Now to tackle this. just over the tip of there 20 to 9 I set off at 6 that's good going actually I've not had a break I've just soldiered on so a lot of people say this bit's uh, I mean I don't want to speak too soon but that this bit is a nightmare but I am really enjoying it because there is no path and I like that it's a good sometimes it's a nice feeling you know, just to mooch, mate, just to mooch in the middle of nowhere. Get a good old yomp on. <laughs> so, 
unless I'm missing something from here until track, which isn't that far, it's uh, I've enjoyed this section and um, I've sort of flown through it. Oh, look at that, mate, straight down to the sea. I've been thinking quite a bit, and uh, obviously, because uh, what else are you going to do? Uh, I like it's so vast, and I was just thinking about like exploring and us as a human race exploring. Hold on, I've just been fascinated, like fixated on the fact that like we need. Oh, this is going to sound crazy, this in it right near end as well, and you've supported me throughout this whole journey. And then I'm there, now I'm going to be like, you're going to think I'm a bit of a loon, but uh, just as a species, we need to start exploring up there, <laughs> out of space. And that's all I've been thinking about for the last, for a little bit anyway. And it sounds, it's, there's such a taboo on it, because as soon as I say, even me saying it out loud, I say, oh, what we need to do is form one world government and use all our resources to explore outer space and search for extraterrestrial life and life on other planets and in, uh, in and habitable planets for us as a species to explore. Because I was just thinking that, right, when I was looking around here, and it, this is as a, it's you don't get more remote than this in the in the whole of the British Isles and I know the British Isles isn't that remote really but still it, it, it's just not grand enough is it we've been here we've done it we know what's here why don't we why aren't we um, it's like Bill Hicks said about you know, uh, if all the governments just stop buying nuclear weapons or arms or whatever, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm probably misremembering this, like, so sorry, Bill. Yeah, if they all stop buying military or nukes or something like that and uh, fed and clothed the hungry and the homeless, uh, what was it? And then we could, as a species, we could just live together, like, in peace, forever, just exploring outer space. It's so, it seems so mad, doesn't it? Hold on. What's mad is me talking about outer space. <laughs> With a camera in my hands, doing little back crossings. You, you can't just say, Oh, no, it's not like, you know, shut up, Fox Mulder. <laughs> you can. But, there must be, there is some, it's so vast. And, uh, you know, even if there isn't, let's explore it, man. And I feel like the only way that you can do it is if we all, well, it's money, in it. You'd have to, the governments would have to get into it, but also, Big companies would have to get into it as well. You'd have like, you'd have to figure a way of monetizing it, like putting adverts on it or something, <laughs> and then everyone would be into it. Because at the moment, I just don't think because there's probably no money in it. All this like greed and capitalism kept keeps clips our wings, literally clips our wings as a species, and also as I was thinking, like if a, if an alien did come da <laughs> down here, like if an alien just landed here next to me and he was like, right, Wagwan, what, what, uh, where's your leader? What are your, what's, what's going on on this planet? I'd be like, TBH, Breda, I've got no idea. I don't know what's going on. I, I'm embarrassed to show, to give you, like, to you know, to take you to me, leader. The, you know, the and all the different countries that have different ways of dealing with it, so it just wouldn't work, would it? You know, 
alien comes down, half of us want to eat it, <laughs> you know, and half of us want to learn from it. And so you just, we can't win, can we? Unless we, unless we, there should be like a space plug. Like, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I don't, what I'm trying to say is I want to head a global space exploration program starting tomorrow and we're going to get volunteers, not me, not yet, volunteers to give their lives to travelling and exploring outer space. I'll do it in fact. I'll do it. Sign me up. But we don't have to do it in one massive foul like, we don't have to just rocket ourselves out into space with a pot noodle and a you know a hoe. Ooh. You just do it in look like just make sure if we put all our money into it as well. You get Elon Musk onto it, all them big boys. And then what you do, I know this is how you do it. I've got it. Right? You build a space station, right? Outside of the Earth's atmosphere, you build a, a, uh, uh, we as humans build a space station. But you make it to be, you make it into a destination that is just proper, not like an Airbnb, but it's got, it's just luxury, five star, just the best the absolute best of the best stuff on it you know jacuzzis <laughs> uh, ferrero rocher just all that sort of stuff you make it irresistible and then you're like right guys if you come to this space station you can come here and you get to just chill for now, you can just be in this luxurious resort and then people can even take holidays there for a few weeks and then come back and everyone's like, oh this is good and it's sort of like dipping the toe it's a way of dipping um, dipping your toe into space exploration and also you'll get to, the big companies will back it because it'll be a money making thing you know what I mean, people spending money to go. I'm like, where have you been this week? Oh, I've been to you know Clacton upon Sea. Where have you been? I've been up there. Do you know what I mean? Halfway to the moon, mate. For Ferrero Rocher. This has got legs. This. This is. This is not just the psycho babble of a man who has spent 14 days walking in the wilderness on his own. This has actually got legs. Who's with me? <laughs> and then from that space station, right, you set it up all nice. A wonderful destination. But that's just the bronze, right? Even though it's legit, it's just the bronze. And then from there we fly and we set up another space station, the silver space station. And if they go there, you, you can have Easter eggs every day of the year. Every day is pancake day. Do you know what I mean? Just make it irresistible and then people will want it. Make it fun. You know, get people, or get, it's gonna have to be like commerce, innit? You're gonna have to get people to back it and you've got enough, hey, sponsor back, people could sponsor it, sponsor bits of the space station. And just get people talking about it and getting them into space exploration because being, there's been some nights on this hike, I've looked up and it's just been like I've gone for a, a was it night and just looked up and it's just been unreal. The layers and layers of stars and how far it goes. This can't be it. I'm just curious man, I'd like to know in my lifetime but I can't see who's doing it and it's just a bit frustrating. Who's with me? Huh? Anybody? Right, forget it. It's track. <laughs> Whew, what's that? Three hours, mate. Five hours. Sorry if you're watching that couple who I bumped into over there. 
They were saying how bad that was. It took them five hours to get from that boffy to there. Maybe they just, I don't know. Right, smashed that in, in real good time, actually. Uh, I'm happy going over that sort of gear, yomping over moorland and that. It's this stuff that does me. It's the roads. Oh, the roads and the tracks that just, oh. They really do take it out of my feet. There's Sandwood Bay. Where I woke up. It's killing me this road, man. <laughs> Who's this? The lighthouse. The lighthouse. Right. Emotional seeing it like. I don't think you can get right up to it, but I'll go as far as humanly possible. There's nothing running, there's no minibuses, unless I can bribe someone. Will somebody take me to the ferry? If not, it's 11 or 12 miles, whatever it is, along this thing. Oh. Or, back the way I came, across the moors, Sandalwood Bay, back down that track. <laughs> That's not for you guys, that's not going to be on the video, that's just my own little personal goal <laughs> at the end. For now, the glory. Look at her. I think there's just one dude who lives here called John and I'm, I'm sorry if I got that wrong, his name, but I think it's just someone who lives here all the time. I mean, remote AF. Just one guy middling at watching him give me COVID. As far as I can go, mate. <laughs> oh. When you carry a stone on the coast to coast, it's like that. But I'm carrying a can of faith from here, Fort William, all the way to the Cape Wrath. And as soon as I get to that lighthouse, I'm chinning it. Not a bad first campsite. Campsite one on the journey to the lighthouse. I'm gonna get to the white lighthouse and I'm gonna hopefully crack this open and just chin it. The morning of day two, we slept well last night and we've woken to this beautiful, it was pissing it down all last night and then to wake up to this, a joy. Let's hike another day and get another day closer to the lighthouse so we can Chinzano. Day three draws to an end on the, uh, the Keep the Faith tour. This is the most tempted I've been to drink this since setting off top of the world. <laughs> Still, that was one of the hardest slogs I've ever done. Through unmarked territory, there's no paths, really boggy. <sighs> Keep the faith. Oh, soon come. There's my can of faith, mate. What's your name? My name's Tim Clement. Tim just rocked up with a can. Just 6.2% clobber, but unfortunately I've had to say no because we know what I'm doing. <laughs> Waiting till, till, till the end, but big up mate, knuckles. Right, yeah, good luck. Nice. And this has never been so tempting. 
because I'm thirsty and I want the sugar and the, oh, oh. She's getting a bit dented, look. Harvey Dent. This is gonna be the most glorious beer that I've ever had. I'm ready for, for it to be that as well. This is why I'm doing it, mate. This is it. This kind of face is gonna be the nicest can I've ever had, if I make it. Oh, let's chill her in the natural spring. Whoa, is it, oh, there, look. I nearly lost it. Nearly lost faith. We nearly lost faith. There you go, chilled in a highland spring. Nearly there, kid. Few more days, <laughs> and you'll be mine. Here we are, the penultimate morning. Hopefully tonight we'll be by the coast, and then we'll be at the lighthouse, and we'll finally, we'll finally get to drink this bad boy. It's mad that I've carried this all the way. I got it in Fort William because I forgot mine. I had one at home and I forgot to pack it. And then luckily in Fort William, in Morrison's in Fort Williams, they had one exactly the faith I needed. Fruity, juicy and fresh. I have kept the faith for so long. This is my last night on the Cape Wrath Trail. The final day on the Cape Wrath Trail. Let's get this to the lighthouse. There we are, from Fort William to Cape Wrath. I nearly lost the faith, <laughs> but I kept the faith. And now even though it's 20 to 10, I'm gonna have it. <laughs> <laughs> Should have fizzed it up and just poured it on my head like a race car driver. You having it? <sighs> yes, mate, cheers. Absent friends. Uh. There she is. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Killed it. The best beer I've ever had.